Okay, now we're going to discuss an example of a geometric um, random variable. And for this random variable, I'm going to use a situation that's appropriate here in Texas. Uh, say each time I drill for oil, suppose there's a 30% chance. that a productive well will result. Okay, my random variable here, anytime you have a geometric, it's a waiting time. So the random variable is going to be the number of times we have to drill it includes that time of um, when we do have a success, in this case, when we get a productive well. So the number of times we have to drill to get a productive well. So x is some positive integer, and it could really be any positive integer, um, at least within theoretical bounds. Within realistic browns, it couldn't be bigger than, say, a thousand. Because after you drill a thousand times, you're going to go bankrupt and you won't be able to drill anymore. But for the theoretical distribution, it's going to be any positive number. Okay. We'll start off with 1. What's the probability that x is 1? That would be the case where we just have to drill one time um, before we get a productive well. Well, that would mean that our first drilling is indeed a productive well. So that happens with probability 0 0.3. What about k equals 2? Well, k equals 2 if we have to drill twice to get the productive well, which would mean that the first drilling was unsuccessful, while the second drilling was successful. So the probability of the first drilling being unsuccessful is 0 0.7, and the probability of the second drill being successful is 0.3, and we're going to assume that those events are independent. The results of that first drilling did not affect the result of the second drilling. That's an assumption anytime you're dealing with a geometric random variable. Uh, let's say we had a third, uh, we had x equals 3, what's the probability that it takes us three times, <coughs> three tries to to strike oil in our well? Um, well, the first two times would have to not be productive the first time being productive it happens with probability 0.2, the second time with probability 0.7. Um, so we would multiply 0.7 times 0.7 to get 0.7 squared. And then we multiply that by the probability that the third drilling is successful. So we just multiply all of those together because they're independent. And what's the pattern here? Well, if I were to go to the fourth one, then I would have three unsuccessful drillings and a successful drilling, so that exponent would just increase to three if k was four. In general, for a positive number k, I'll have 0 0.7 to the k minus one times 0 0.3. Okay. And that's my distribution. Now, one way to represent the distribution is in a table. Sorry for the curvy lines here, but that's what we get for drawing by hand. Ooh, I really don't like that one, so I'm going to erase that one. Alright. I think I made it harder on myself by making my table so tall. And now it's going to be hard to draw this line. So we can put it in our table, but when we have an infinite number of possibilities, or at least a lot of possibilities, it's more common to represent your distribution with a formula for the probability that x equals k. So we'll do that here, and it'll certainly be a lot neater than my table above. So the probability that x equals k, well, I already came up with that formula here. It's 1 minus p to the power of k minus 1 times um, p. In this case, our probability of success is 0.3. To signify multiply, so I'll just put a dot right there. Okay, now if that's truly a probability distribution, then it should be that the sum from k equals 1 to infinity 
of 0 0.7 to the k minus 1 times 0 0.3 is 1. Well, let's see if that's the case. So I'm going to pull up Wolfram Alpha here. And we are doing the sum from 1 to infinity. Now k equals 1 to infinity of 0 0.7 to the power to the power of k minus 1. Uh, my parentheses are getting off here. Uh, times 0 0.3. And we're summing from k equals 1 to infinity. This is a geometric series, if you do remember your techniques from calculus, and it would not that be that difficult uh, to determine what it converges to. And we learned that, yes, total probability is 1. So, so we see that, indeed, this, um, this distribution does make sense. It is a probability distribution in that all of these are non-negative. You multiply positive numbers by positive numbers, you still get positive and the total probability is 1. So this is an example of geometric distribution.